Joining us today, we have the 2019 MRS Materials Theory Award winner. This is Lou Sham. Lou, great to meet you, and congratulations on the award. Thank you. It's an honor. Now, your award citation notes your pioneering contributions to the quantum theory of molecules and solids, and specifically, it notes the development of the Cohn-Sham formulation of density functional theory. Tell us about your work that led to the award. In that period, this, this is the early 60s, there was an interesting dilemma, as it were. The electron interactions theory was very good, but it has to be done in the model of a uniform distribution of positive charge. On the other hand, the people who can find the energy structure of the electrons under the influence of the nuclei they do it very well if they can assume the electrons are more or less independent of each other. They can feel the others as a field, as it were, but not individual particles. The tension between the two sides uh, were palpable. <laughs> they were kind of, <laughs> you know. So then I went to uh, La Jolla, postdoc with Walter Cohn. He was still on sabbatical. Six months later, he came home and gave a seminar uh, on the density functional theory, uh, the theorem that he and Pierre Hornberg just did. That was mana from heaven. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a method yeah. to integrate the two effects of uh, electrons under the influence of nuclei and the, under the influence of mutual interaction. Now, what led you to your particular field of study? What drew you in? I was an undergraduate at Imperial College London, and I majored in maths. And I always uh, thought physics uh, was terrible because they give you a formula and then say it can be proven. I couldn't understand anything they said. <laughs> it was all could be proven. Right. Then in the third year, which was our final year uh, of the degree, suddenly we were, t we were taught physics that was based on mathematical formulations. It was wonderful. And, and the that, light bulb went off. Now, what are some of the applications or devices that have resulted from the work you've done? Well, it's actually quite broad. A lot of physical sciences uh, do, uh, and even biologists are now using it because a lot of things depend on the electron. It's, it is probably the most intimate particle that we are aware of. Your watch and everything, right? Sure. <laughs> it's all electronic. To give you an example, it started with atoms. Uh, the, the people who do optics and atoms uh, were quite appreciative of the density functional theory method of uh, working. And then chemistry, of course, uh, all the chemical molecules, and uh, they, they really develop, uh, based on this, but develop uh, ways to calculate things. Uh, uh, the surprising thing was that they also apply it to nuclei. So like David Thales told me, oh, he used it to understand the isotope of calcium. This is now nuclear particle, not electron particle. Yeah. What do you think the future of well, the field is? It's um, boundless in a way, because if you look at it, don't you uh, think, uh, I would think that the community uh, of density functional theory, it's like the internet. It's easy to understand. Everybody get on it and they, they extend things, they innovate. You know, it's really uh, wonderful. So I think there's going to be things like that. It might even spill off from materials to processes, which means that we can do dynamics and therefore have engineering. It's a very dynamic field. Congratulations again, Lou Sham, 2019 MRS Materials Theory Award winner. Thank you.